Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy, and this first video in a series on causes of red eye, in which I'm aiming to cover high yield information relevant to exams such as medical school finals, the USMLE, and the general practice AKT exam. In this video, we're going to be focusing on this, which is a subconjunctival hemorrhage, and that's where you've got blood that appears in the white of the eye. So let's briefly look at the important anatomy, and the anatomy we're going to focus on is the conjunctiva here, and the sclera, which is here. So the conjunctiva is a clear thin membrane that covers the front part of the surface of the eye and the inner surface of the eyelids and it contains lots of tiny blood vessels that can easily break. If these blood vessels break then the blood will leak between the conjunctiva and the sclera which is again that white part of the eye which you can see sort of surrounding the eyeball as almost like a protective layer. The main take home point from this video is that the bleeding which you can see here looks quite dramatic however usually they are harmless and they often resolve spontaneously. So there are rarely any symptoms that you notice and, and the first thing you may notice and you might see this in exam questions is that the patient wakes up in the morning, they look in the mirror and they see this bleeding on the white part of the eye and, and your spot diagnosis if you're shown a photo like this is that it's a subconjunctival hemorrhage. In terms of causes, well there are several things that can cause a subconjunctival hemorrhage. I've listed some of the common ones here. So things such as coughing, sneezing or straining can cause a subconjunctival hemorrhage and that's because they briefly raise the blood pressure in the veins and and that quick pressure rise can lead the capillaries to break. Trauma to the eye can also cause this, so things like rubbing the eyes if they're dry and irritated, if you rub them too hard you can get this. And um, Things such as diabetes and high blood pressure are also some potential causes, and so it's important in exam questions if they ask you what other investigations you might like to do in clinic, that, that might involve checking the patient's blood pressure as well as checking a blood glucose level. And also medicines, things that make you bleed more easily such as aspirin could be potential causes. Very rarely subconjunctival hemorrhages can be caused by blood clotting disorders or other blood problems that affect the whole body. In terms of management, well a subconjunctival hemorrhage should heal on its own without treatment so it typically self-resolves but depending on how big the spot is it might take a few days or a few weeks to fully resorb. If the eye feels irritated you could suggest to the patient using lubricating eye drops or eye ointment which may stop them rubbing the eye. I hope the video was helpful please remember to like it if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and until next time bye